Uh, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to download full courses from the edx.org website. And first, let's actually, let me show you an example of a course that I downloaded myself. This is what the course looks like here uh, on the website. These are the different sections of the course. And as you can see here, uh, this is what it looks like on my machine. And these are the actual videos. Everything is so neat and organized. It's a great way to go quickly through a course, do a quick revision, or search for a specific something inside the course. I'm pretty sure you have your reasons to do this. So let's actually start downloading. First, what you're going to need is a, a, you're going to need to install Python. And because this is not a technical tutorial, uh, we're going to rely on the Anaconda package that has Python with a whole lot of other packages and stuff that we need in order to download. So after you click on that link here, go down here and download the right package according to the type of system you have. The 64-bit and the 32-bit of the Python 3.5 version. Uh, and it's actually a pretty standard installation procedure. Uh, I used all the defaults myself, and if you do too, uh, you should go to a, a path similar to this, a directory called Anaconda 3, and go ahead and copy this. And the reason for this is because here you have your Python executable, and we're going to add uh, the path to that executable to our uh, system variables because that way we can access Python from within any directory uh, in our machine on our machine so go ahead and right click my computer uh, choose properties click advanced system settings click environment variables under system variables here scroll down to path and if, if there is not a semicolon here, make sure that you add one. Then you type in the path that you just copied and click OK. Now you can actually launch CMD uh, by clicking Windows R, then typing in CMD and clicking Enter. If you type in Python now, you should get this, which means that you have successfully installed Python. Go ahead and click Control Z to exit. Now, let me actually uh, give you a tip. Uh, you can actually right-click the CMD window and choosing properties, and make sure that Quick Edit Mode is enabled here, uh, because that's going to make things a whole lot easier as we copy and paste out of the CMD window, as I'm about to show you. So now we're ready to download full courses. Go to Google and type in EDX Dell and click on that website right here. Uh, from here, go to clone or download and download zip. And that's going to download the zip folder for you. Go ahead and unzip it to your root directory. And I highly recommend that you do that to your root directory because you're downloading full courses and the file names are going to get linked to you really quickly and as you might know Windows can't really handle lengthy file names and you might get a lot of download errors so after you've done this uh, copy that uh, path and navigate to it using the command CD and just right click uh, after enabling the quick edit mode and click enter now you're inside that directory now it's time for you to install that script. Uh, go ahead to the re README file here. It contains a lot of description on installation and how to use it. So uh, I recommend that you read uh, this stuff. I'm actually going to give you a demonstration using my own account. So first, you install it using this command here. Uh, and because I already installed it, and you click enter, it's going to install it for you. I already installed it. You also update the, the YouTube downloading part of the program using this command here. 
I already did that. And now you're ready to actually download full courses. This is the command that you're going to use for the download of courses. In order to get the specific course URL uh, that you're interested in, go ahead and use that command here. So you're going to copy this, except that you're going to replace user at user.com with your actual email that you use to sign up for the edx.org website. Uh, it's very handy to have all these commands ready in a document or a text file so you don't have to uh, type and retype your, your stuff. And this is the command right here. I hit enter. It's going to ask me for my password. So I go ahead and type that in. And it's going to give me a list of all the courses that I have enrolled in. And as you can see here, we can just copy all this stuff here and right click that is copied. We paste it right here. Notice that after each course, there's a, a certain uh, URL to that course. So you look, you should look for the course that you're interested to download and copy that URL. Then you're going to use that command here. You place the URL that you just copied here and you replace that with your actual email. And as you can see, I already did that. And here is an example. You copy that stuff and you paste it here. You hit enter. It's going to ask you for, for your password one more time. So you type that in and that is it. It's going to start downloading that course for you. The downloaded material is going to be inside a folder called downloaded inside your EDX Dell folder. And uh, don't worry if the download gets interrupted because you can actually resume the download without any problems. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Please let me uh, know down below in the comments if you want to see a tutorial on how to download courses from the Coursera website. Uh, see you. Have a nice day.